Hello, universe. Welcome to my world. When we listen to Angelina Jordan, she takes us back. Sometimes she takes us back 50 years or 75 years. She really makes us aware of the history of music and the history of song. But let's take a deep dive and let's really look at the history of song and see how far back it goes. And it goes way back. In fact, it is lost in the mists of time and how song is most likely started with language. It goes back that far. And it probably began when people wanted to communicate their feeling. If they were happy, they would sing. If they were sad, they would sing. And as an extension of sadness, people sometimes would cry when they would sing and their singing would sound like crying. So today, rather than looking at one song through many singers, we're going to look at one message through many different singers and many different styles. And that message is pleading and begging as in, oh baby, don't leave me, don't go. And all the songs today we'll be looking at will be that message with different styles. And sometimes the music makes it obvious and sometimes the music does not. Let's have a look at this. In 1967 at the Monterey Pop Festival, Otis Redding was pouring out his heart when he was singing, I've been loving you too long, where he was pleading, baby, don't leave me. Let's remind ourselves of what Otis Redding was like. I've been loving you just a little bit too long. And I don't want to stop you. No, babe, I'm down on my knees. Please don't make me stop now, yeah. And when you're a soul singer, you really pour out your heart and you really get your message across. Not only with Otis, a soul singer, but so too, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes gave a very soulful version of Don't Leave Me This Way in the late 60s. And then 20 years later, we hear the communards doing it with a synth pop dance version. Same message, same song, same words, but totally different feeling to it. We have a, a soul version which reaches you with the feeling and a dance version which can mean anything if you don't follow the lyric. And in the late 70s, we had Chicago singing, If You Leave Me Now, which is another song of pleading, which happens to be hauntingly beautiful. And if you leave me now, you take away the very heart of me. And Baby, Please Don't Go is a traditional blues song. Here in 1981, we have Muddy Waters on stage with Mick Jagger. Blues, by definition, is usually not very happy. 
It's a style of music which communicates that. Also begging, please don't leave me, is Jacques Brel. My wife is French and she assures me it is not possible to do a better version than Jacques Brel's original. Here he is singing with tears running down his face. And when Angelina Jordan sings the same song in English, it's a wonderful emotional version. Both of these really communicate the pain and the sadness involved with the song. If you go away, if you go away, if you go away, but if you stay, I'll make you night like no night has been or will be again. But Angelina Jordan also does other songs where she is pleading for someone not to leave her. Here she is with Ivan Mendez singing Stay. In fact, let's watch this with Ivan and let's hear his comments because he points out a moment at the end of the song which goes right through him like a hot knife through butter. And if you watch him while he's playing, you can see he is totally awestruck by the sheer talent of Angelina Jordan. And the way you move makes me feel like I can live without you. Takes me out the way. I want you to stay. That second to the last note, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen, I've ever heard. <laughs> Hold it to like a very soft, very low point and then brings it back out still before she ends the phrase. Amazing. My challenge, my biggest challenge was staying focused on playing, mm -hmm. was <laughs> playing with Angelina because I just couldn't believe a singer this good could be next to me. <laughs> and Angelina Jordan also is pleading for someone not to leave her, but here in a much more defiant way when she's singing Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing. Don't you dare walk away from me. But pleading takes other forms in song as well. We have pleading when we have charity events. We're going to listen to Band-Aid singing Feed the World in 1984. This is done with a lot of pop superstars and it doesn't quite carry the same weight of emotion. But the message is the same. Please 
remember the poor people around the world. And when Michael Jackson sings Heal the World, he's also pleading for our humanitarian instinct. He's also pleading with us to remember the poor and the unfortunate and for us to find the charity in our hearts. And then Angelina Jordan covers the same song. Michael Jackson is the king of pop. And Angelina Jordan, when she sings it, her version of this song inspired the whole video. When I heard her singing this, I heard the pleading in her voice. And this was the reason I have made this video. It's not just sadness or crying that sometimes gets communicated in song. It's a pleading as well. And it's wonderful how even a sad pleading song can sound hauntingly beautiful. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love. So singing is not just about the music, it's not just about the notes, it's about communicating a message and putting the feeling into the song. Because this is really what song is all about. It's expressing yourself. It's letting other people know how you feel. And this is a very noble purpose of song. We will continue to look at the unfolding career and development of Angelina Jordan in the future. Okay, gang, I'm out of here. Catch you later. Bye.